Well, Senator Mitchell, it's good to see you again, George. Thank you, Mr. Prime Minister. We have uh, a lot of work to do. We're uh, going to work together to establish a, a new path to achieve a common goal, which is to uh, get a framework agreement for peace uh, that will ensure both peace and security. And I may add prosperity. That's uh, a worthy objective. I know that uh, the United States uh, administration, the President, Secretary of State, and yourself are committed to it as we are, and uh, as we hope uh, our Palestinian neighbors will participate with us to achieve uh, in the coming months. Well, thank you, Mr. Prime Minister. Uh, I appreciate your comments, and uh, as always, look forward to working with you. Uh, in their direct talks, uh, both sides decided together to pursue a framework agreement that would establish the fundamental compromises on all permanent status issues and pave the way for a final peace treaty. That remains our goal. As Secretary of State Clinton said on Friday, and I quote, reaching this goal will not be easy by any means. The differences between the two sides are real and they are persistent. But the way to get there is by engaging in good faith with the full complexities of the core issues and by working to narrow the gaps between the two. By doing this, the parties can begin to rebuild confidence demonstrate their seriousness, and hopefully find enough common ground on which to eventually relaunch direct negotiations and achieve that framework. The parties have indicated that they want the United States to continue its efforts, and in the days ahead, our discussions with both sides will be substantive two-way conversations with an eye toward making real progress in the next few months on the key questions of an eventual framework agreement. Thank you, Mr. Prime Minister. Thank you.